all right so let's continue with this uh, demonstration now just want to uh, let other people sit idle there so what i was explaining is that uh, the simplest way of making a program in scratch is that you bring the block here in the coding area so you can see i have this block move 10 steps i want to run this program just click on the block and now you can see that the cat sprite is moving towards the right hand side on my screen okay so that's the simplest way of running the program but this is the simplest but not the standard and you can say the most suitable way of running the program uh, and this is a kind of you know uh, layman's kind of thing to do so what we can do here is we go to the control category you simply click on the control category and you will find this when flag click button here it's in the events actually sorry so we bring the when flag click button here the block and as you can see from the shape of this block you can uh, find out that this block cannot be attached below any other block because of this curved area over here if i want to drag this block and bring it here you can see that these two shapes you know are not locking in with each other so it means that this when flag clicked block has to be always the first block in the program okay so we cannot add it as a second or the third block so you bring when flag click from here and i'll take the move 10 steps and as you bring it closer to this when flag click you will see that you know this magnet kind of thing is uh, in effect and as soon as you release the block the block will automatically attach itself underneath when flag clicked okay so now we have a small program here when flag clicked move 10 steps now what it says is that if i click on the flag button over here this flag button is also called as go button but i want to call it as flag button because you can easily connect the shape and the name of the button together so if i click on the flag button what it is going to do is it will run the block which is here when flag clicked so when flag clicked block will run and because immediately after the when flag clicked we have moved 10 steps then the move 10 steps block will work and after that my program finishes okay so let's do that i click on the flag button and now you can see that the cat is moving okay the same thing was happening when i was clicking on this move 10 steps alone but th that's not a standard way uh, that's not a good practice in the scratch programming the good practice is that you must click on the flag button and have this block here so it just uh, shows us a kind of you know in control of what we are doing and it also shows me that this is where my program is starting okay so that is the uh, simplest way of doing this now in this program we don't need to use the stop button why we don't need to use the stop button because there are only two blocks and when these two blocks finish running when they finish their execution then the program is automatically stopped it's no more running okay so we don't need to use the stop button in case of this program so that's the simplest way of how you can create a scratch program okay now let's make something meaningful let's make something which we can actually uh, enjoy which we can actually admire as our own creation so what I'm going to do here is that I will bring another sprite into the picture so I'll add one more sprite to the program you click on the add sprite button which is over here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you click on it and then I will choose another sprite and let's say I want my cat sprite to have a conversation with someone else so let's say I want to have a conversation with uh, which is right okay let's say I want to have a conversation with Anina dance okay let's choose this is right so we have this Anina on our stage and we have the cat is right on the stage so notice one thing as soon as I add this Anina dance sprite in my program uh, we have this button here which represents this new sprite of the program all right so what I want to do is that I want my cat sprites to say hi to Anina okay so let's do that uh, now right now I don't want to move the cat sprite so actually this block is useless for me I don't need this block right now so how you delete the blocks 
you just drag the blocks back into the block area. So just pick up the block from here, drag it and leave it into the blocks area. And now you can see the block has simply disappeared. So if I want the cat to say something, the block for that action is available in the looks category. So I'm going to click on the looks category here. And then the very first block which you can see is say hello for two seconds. There is another version of this block which is just say. Okay, so we will see the difference between these two blocks. So let's say I want to use the say block first. And then I say hello. And after that I type the name of my new sprite on the screen which is spelled as A N I N A. Hello Anina. And now I am adding these blocks on the cat sprite. So when I run the program, my cat sprite is going to say these words, not Anina, because Anina is still empty. There are no blocks added to Anina sprite. So let's go back to the sprite uh, cat sprite here. And uh, let's click on the run uh, hit button. Uh, and then the cat sprite is saying, hello, Anina. And then this hello statement is stays on the screen forever. It's not disappearing, although the program has stopped running because there were only two blocks when flag clicked and say hello Anina, but still the message is staying on the screen. The reason is that the block says to display this message on the screen. That's it. The block is not saying anything about removing this message and that is why it is not disappearing. There are there is a way to make this message disappear. Click on the stop button. So a stop button also works as a reset button for the program. So if I click on the stop button now, the message disappears. So that's what say block will do for you. And then there is another version where I can give the message also and I can also specify the duration for which I want this message to stay on the screen. So let's say say hello for and I want to display this hello message for four seconds on the screen and then let me add it the hello string also. Hello Anina and now let's hit the go button and the cat is saying hello Anina. The message stays for four seconds. As soon as the four seconds are over the message disappears. So that's what the basic difference between a say block and say for particular seconds is okay. I hope uh, the difference is quite clear. All right, so the first thing is done. My cat is saying hello to Anina, but I want Anina to reply, right? It would be too rude if Anina is just showing the smiling face and not replying to the cat sprite. So let's not make Anina a rude character here. So I want Anina to say uh, hi back to the cat sprite. So let me go to the Anina sprite now. You can see the work area is empty. Let's start building our program. I click on the events category. This is where the first block of the program is, which is when flag clicked block. And then I want Anina to reply. So I go back to the lock, uh, looks category, bring my say hello for two seconds. And then I say, okay, Anina is replying. Hello, hello, cute kitty. Yeah, suits to the appearance of our cat sprite for four seconds. So now cat sprite is saying hello Anina. Anina is saying hello cute kitty. Let's hit the go button and see what happens. You click on the flag button and both of them are saying hello to each other at the same time. I will make it full screen and click on the flag button again. And now you can see both of them are saying hello to each other, right? But that's not what we want to do. First, I want the cat sprite to say hi, and then I want Anina to reply. So I want to have a conversation here actually. And how to do that conversation? What's happening here is that when I say, I don't know what's happening. No. Oh, then it got reconnected, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> just hit a technical snag again. I was disconnected for a while. All right, so I'll continue with what I was saying. <clears throat> so right now, they both are displaying the message, but they are not aware of each other's actions, okay? So what I want to do here is that when cat says hello to Anina, 
Anina must be aware of that. We have to somehow tell Anina that cat is saying hi to you and now you need to reply to cat. Okay, so let's do that. So how this interaction is going to work is, it is called as, called as passing messages between the sprites. One sprite send a message to another sprite and then the another sprite respond to that message and that is how this communication takes place. So let's do that. So we go to the control cat uh, events category and in the events category you will find a block which is broadcast. Okay. Now this, uh, yeah my screen is pausing and I'm also getting disconnected sometimes because uh, I am having some connectivity issues today. Uh, I don't know why it is happening. I never faced that before. I really apologize for that. Uh, but you try to be online, uh, try to understand what I am explaining, otherwise you will find this video offline on my channel always, okay? I'm really sorry for that interruption. Okay, so uh, now we have to broadcast a message. Now broadcast means that this cat sprite is going to send a message to everyone, okay? So let's broadcast this message. After adding the broadcast block here, you have to click on this arrow. And then you have to click on the new message option. When you click on the new message option, you can type a customized message. Okay. So let's say the message is hi Anina. That is the message cat is sending out to everyone. Okay. And then I click on the okay button. Now we go to the Anina sprite and instead of running the program, on the click of the flag button, I am going to say this thing in response to the cat's message. Okay, so try to understand what's happening here is earlier, this block is also when flag clicked, and this block is also when flag clicked. So both of these things were running when I was clicking on the flag button. But now what I want is, I want Anina to say this message, to say this thing on the screen after it has received the message from the cat sprite. Okay, so Anina is not going to say this when I click the flag button. So how we are going to do that? You click on the events category and then there is another starting block and this starting block is when I receive and it simply means that when I receive this message from someone, Anina has no idea what cat sprite is, okay? Anina is just looking for this message. So when I receive, hi Anina, then I will say, hello cute kitty. All right, and now we don't need this block anymore. So we will delete this. Let me give you a quick overview of what we have done. Cat Sprite is going to say hello Anina as soon as I click on the flag button. After saying hello Anina for 4 seconds, Cat Sprite will broadcast this message to all other sprites. As soon as this message is broadcasted, this message will be received by the Anina Sprite. And as soon as the Anina Sprite receives the message, She'll say hello cute kitty and now we have a conversation between two sprites. Let's see this thing in action. I will make my stage full screen and then click on the flag button. So this is where the cat is saying hello Anina four seconds and now Anina is replying hello cute kitty. After four seconds the message disappears. Okay, so now we have established a conversation between two different sprites. All right, let's not finish this thing here. Let's have a few more uh, exchanges between these two sprites. So as soon as Anina is finished saying hello cute kitty, now Anina is curious about our cat sprite. Okay, so now she wants to ask a question. So we go back to the looks category. We bring our say block here and attach it underneath the first say block. And then I, and Anina wants to ask about Kitty that where she's from which place or how she ended up in this forest. Uh, how you 
ended up being alone in this jungle. So Anina is curious what this cute kitty is doing over here and asking for four seconds. Once Anina is uh, finished asking this question for four seconds, Anina is going to broadcast a message. And this time the message has to be different. Okay, so we will click on the new message button and uh, we can say, why are you alone? That's the message sent out by Anina. Maybe, why are you alone, kitty? And once we type this message, we click on OK button. And now, kitty needs to respond to this question by Anina. So we go back to Sprite 1, which is our cat Sprite. Bring this block here, when I receive. This time, cat is supposed to respond to Anina's question. This is what Anina's question is. Why are you alone, kitty? And in response to this message, kitty is going to answer. I'm lost. Can you help me? And let's hit the flag button now and see what happens so we starting the conversation from the beginning hello anina hello cute kitty now anina is going to ask the question how you ended up being alone in this jungle and i'm lost can you help me all right so that was a very quick example of uh, how we can make uh, a short story animation although there was no movements no motions no sounds uh, this is not what exactly uh, a designer would want to do but this is just the beginning and as you can see here that by the help of using these five blocks on the cat sprite and these four blocks on the anina sprite we are able to make uh, a very short animation in a very short duration of time and without knowing much about the scratch interface okay so that's what the beauty of this software is that anybody can start uh, learning to program within few minutes all right so guys this was the whole objective which i set for my live session today which is the session number one the objective of this session was to show you how to install the scratch program to make you aware about the different parts of the scratch window and also to show you how we can create a program how we can run a program and then we saw that how quickly we can make a small animation a conversation between two sprites so i would like to end my uh, demonstration here and for the next session which is session number two which will be uh, conducted day after tomorrow i would like to keep these sessions with one day break so that you have got enough time to practice all these things which i have demonstrated by yourself I also suggest you to note down any problems you face or any doubts which you have. And uh, if I have uh, viewers uh, regularly in my live uh, program, then I will be conducting live Zoom sessions also. I will share the link of my live Zoom sessions and uh, preferably on a weekend so that everybody is free. And in those live Zoom sessions, you can ask me your programs directly because it's a uh, two-way communication on zoom and then i would be happy to solve all your problems there all right so that's the end of my youtube live session for today and i will be conducting another youtube live session day after tomorrow at 5 pm same time in india and in the next session i will be showing you how we can use the motion blocks to make something move on the screen and actually we will lay the foundation of our game programming in my next session okay so that's what we are going to do for the next time uh, the name of my channel the youtube channel is travelazi uh, spell it as t r a v e l a z z i so please subscribe to that channel press the bell icon so that you receive the notifications for all the videos i am releasing if you are interested in Lego Robotics, 
you can visit the the robotic playlist on my channel i have around uh, uh, 15 or 16 lobo uh, lego robotics videos there along with the programs and all the building instructions and i also have the tutorial videos for installing a scratch on the windows computer on apple computer or on your tablet computers also there is a short video where you can uh, watch the uh, scratch interface again and also there is another video which will teach you how to make your first program okay so all these videos are already live on my channel so if you have missed something because there were so many technical glitches today with my internet connectivity so if you have missed something you can visit uh, the channel and you can watch those videos offline and this video also I will be uploading very soon so you can watch this again whenever you want all right so thank you very much uh, it was a good start I had a good audience today and I'm really very happy to teach you all kids uh, this uh, amazing software this amazing program where we can design so many interesting things and you are actually learning core programming fundamentals right now this is not just fun okay it's one way of learning some serious things if you learn c plus plus and java in your uh, class 10th or class 12th you would be using the same kind of stuff there also okay so this is a very good foundation for your higher classes as well all right everyone so that's all from me today and i'll finish my live session now uh, hope to see you all in my next session which will be conducted day after tomorrow 5 p.m india time all right Bye everyone, see you next time.